What's up, my friends? The NBA All-Star break is on the way out, and all the NBA bets are coming back, baby. We're going to talk about Jordan Poole as my pick of the day, where I'm betting it, where I'm taking it, and if it's on prize picks and underdog. Right here, right now. Let's go. All right, so before we begin, let's talk about Andrew Wiggins. So we already know Steph Curry is still out. Did start practicing a couple days ago, non-contact practice. So he's not there yet. So we don't have to worry about him playing. That's key. However, Andrew Wiggins looks like he's not going to play either. Dalton Johnson, one of the beat reporters for the Warriors, he mentioned that Wiggins was not on practice at Tuesday. It does not look like he's going to be playing. He's still away for personal time. The team has also made a couple comments that he's away for personal matters. The team's respecting what he's taking care of, and they're not rushing him back. So Wiggins, I think he's out. For who knows? Indefinitely. And then he'll return when he's ready. Whenever that is, the Warriors will embrace him with open arms. For betting purposes, that gives us a nice opportunity. Some of the books have not adapted. Surprisingly, one of them is FanDuel. So if you go over to DraftKings, you can see there's no Andrew Wiggins points props right now. And you can see Jordan Poole at 26 and a half points, minus 105 to the over, minus 125 to the under at 26 and a half. I don't like that. There's no reason to play that, but there's no Wiggins here. Oh, half the books have Wiggins props, half do not. I'm leaning towards the do not pick. I feel like Wiggins is not playing. Even if he does, it might be slightly irrelevant. They are on the road, and that also means that it's probably not a Clay Thompson game. As we know, his home road splits are insane. They're very drastic, which gives us an opportunity to take Jordan Poole on the road. Now, when you look at FanDuel Sportsbook, you find him at 25 and a half points, minus 113 odds. Very, very nice. A full point less a solid line. I'm taking the over on FanDuel Sportsbook over 25 and a half points. Jordan Poole, likely without Andrew Wiggins, also without Steph Curry. And why this matters, my guys hit the over in 13 of 18 games with those splits and those two guys being out. 11 out of 15 this season alone. Two of his misses, he had 24 points, meaning he was a bucket away from hitting the over and being over in 13 of 15. When he plays 30 plus minutes in these splits, he's hit the over in 10 of 13 games. And he just played the Lakers on February 11th without Steph Curry. Played 37 minutes, took 25 field goal attempts, and scored 29 actual points. So a lot of things pointing towards him hitting the over. We've got no Curry, potentially no Wiggins. Even if Wiggins plays, I'm still taking this line. And if it moves down because Wiggins returns, goodness gracious, I love it. Right now, my confidence level on pool is high. I posted that in Discord earlier. Hopefully, we can make some bank. Now, on prize picks, he is at 25 and a half. He's my favorite play so far on this board. Uh, I'm going to pair him with another player. I actually posted a four-pick slip inside Discord already. It is Wednesday at 12.30 p.m. So if you're one of my members seeing this video, make sure you go check that Price Picks channel. It's glorious. I love those picks. Gave all the reasonings, the confidence levels, the notes, and everything on the four-pick slip. On underdog, he is at 26 and a half. So he's already been bumped up here. Again, very similar to certain sports books. Some at 25 and a half, some at 26 and a half. I'm taking him 25 and a half over. Good luck to you. If you like me being back on YouTube, hit the like button for me. Drop a comment down below. Say, what's up? Welcome back. Anything to help me out. And if you want extra access, all the picks, my gosh, go ahead and grab that Patreon link down below in the description section. Grab it in the comment section. While I was gone for two, two and a half weeks, we had a couple new channels, a Plus EV Bets channel and a value channel for both underdog and price picks. And the value channel hit at a 65% hit rate for price picks and underdog. Pretty crazy. So they actually did a little bit better than what I normally do at 62.6% win rate. So I was very impressed uh, while I was out, but I'm happy to be back focusing mostly on sports books, dabbling with four pick slips there on price picks, and I will see you on the inside. Let's go. Have a good day, my friends.